2 by 3 can finish comma. So, you can cancel panna. 5 divided by 6. Okay, wow. Now, we have a, B, C, monitor value. Now, we have a final answer indicator. What will be the difference between largest and the smallest fractions? Difference is difference you can know, minus subtract. What is the largest fraction? A, smallest fraction is C. What is the largest minus smallest fraction? That is A minus C. Okay, wow. A, A value is 5 by 6 minus C value is 2 by 6. Okay, so we have 6 times 5, we have 1 times 5, we have 2 times, so 2 into 4. We have 5 4, we have 1, so a minus c. Then the final answer is 1 by 6. That is the fraction. Okay, so the question is, we have to form a statement. We have to form a statement, we have to solve it, we have to find the final answer. Okay, so we have to find the final answer. So, in the second sub, express 2 by 3 of 1 by 4 of root is 25.20 as a fraction of 1 by 1, 1 and a half part of root is 36. So, how do we sum up? 2 by 3 of the root is into, okay, so, how do we sum up? 1 by 4 into, marmi of again, so, how do we sum up? 25.20 which is equal to as a fraction fraction ingiradhu ennadhu namakku theriyadhu so na enna pandra x appdi solli vechitta marubadi again half nu kuduthirukanga so na into potitta inge 1 and half okay va 1 1 by 2 half again half root is 36 okay va inge irukku value inge irukku so inge vandittu 1 by 4 inge 1 by 2 irukku inge 2 by 3 la vippa indha fraction idhu dhaan vandu namba kandupidikka poriya number okay va adha fraction enna nu solli namba kandupidikrom ipo paarenga idhu eppadi irukna idhu idhu cancel panna varum two times varuma so appo enna vandu 25.20 divided by 6 which is equal to x into idhu 1 1 by 2 mixed proper fraction la kuduthirukanga so normal fraction 1 into 2 2 plus 1 evlo 3 so 3 by 2 into 36 if you look at this, this is the answer. 1 times 1 to this to A to the 60. Okay, so what is it? 25.20 divided by 6 which is equal to x is into 3 into 18. Okay, so what is it? Now, x is equal to 1 side. Now, what is it? Then, what is it? 25.20 divided by 6 which is equal to x is equal to 25.20 divided by 6 which is equal to x is equal to 3 into 8. Then, what is it? 1 divided by 6. 3 into which is equal to x. Okay, so if you cancel this, you can cancel this. Cancel this, you can cancel this. You can cancel this. You can cancel this. You can cancel this. A3 is the number of divided by 3. 25.20 divided by 3. A3 is the number of divided by 3. A3 is the number of divided by 3. So, 4 is the number of divided by 2. Okay, so if you have 8.20, so, it is 8.40 divided by 6 into 18 which is equal to x. Okay, so, now we will calculate this number. We will calculate this number. x is equal to 8.40 divided by 6 into 18. Now, we will do this 2 times. Now, 9 2's are 18. This is 4 2's are 8. 2 2's are 4 is 0. Okay, so, this is again cancel. 3 2's are 6. This is 18. 2 2 is 4, 1 2 is 2, 0. Okay, so this is the answer. 7.0. Okay, so this is the answer. x is equal to 7.0 divided by 9. If you have a normal fraction format, 7 divided by 90. Then we have x on the tin that is 7 divided by 90. If you have a sum of the sum of the sum of the sum, it is easiest to form it. If you have to attend the sum of the sum, it will be a little easier. If you have to miss a little calculation, it will be a little easier to form it. It will be a little easier to form it. Now, we have to use the decimal fraction of the sum of the sum. We will solve the problem with the third sum. If you have 8 1 by 6 plus 5 1 by 8 plus 4 2 by 3. This is a mixed proper fraction. If you have a normal proper fraction, you can use the answer to the answer. I will tell you how to use the other method. Now, 8, 5, 4. This is all we have to add. 8, 5, 6 plus 5 plus 4. Then, we have 8 plus 5. 13, 13 plus 4 is 70. Okay, so. Now, let's see. 1 by 6 plus 1 by 8 plus 